channel. Well, the channel. Welcome back to the channel, not the video. Today is Valentine's Day and I'm spending it here with you guys. I've got some flowers over there. I just got them. They're kind of already dying. A little while ago, I did a DIY designer where I took some designer fashion items and just made them myself because they looked pretty simple to recreate. So, and they should be pretty easy. I feel like they're very easy. <laughs> they're very easy. I think everything in here is going to be less than five steps. Like you can probably do this in like a few moments. So the first thing that we're going to be recreating is the very classic Manolo Blahnik pump with the really beautiful little rhinestone brooch right on top. I'd say this is the simplest one and it's probably going to be the fastest one. We're also going to be creating the tortoiseshell Gucci hair clip. Also we're going to be doing, not from a specific company, but a lot of like higher end brands are doing this. So I didn't really know who to exactly pick because so many high-end designers have this sort of piece in their collections is a little satin slip top like a cowl neck open back a little silky fabric before we get started let me put my hair up <laughs> okay never mind so first thing i'm going to start off with is doing the heel because i feel like this is probably the simplest one, the quickest one. So I'm going to link the exact ones that I got below for you guys if you want to use these. So basically what I did was I just made sure that I got a satiny fabric pump. Like it's pretty simple. You don't have to get it exact and they come in multiple different colors. So I would just suggest getting whatever color you wanted. I got these on Amazon. You can get them overnight shipped. Very easy. They were only $20. That was like the cheapest I could find, like satin heels. So like I said, I will link them below for you guys, the same exact ones that I got. You could also like try checking bridal stores, but they are a bit more expensive than just getting them on Amazon. So that is what I did. So what I did was I picked up two of these brooches. They reminded me so much of like look at that they just reminded me of the shape i thought the shape would fit really well on the shoe i got these for three dollars each so they were a really good find so this i actually didn't notice it was a brooch until about 25 seconds ago so i originally had the plan i have e6000 glue here which is what we're going to need for another diy anyways um but i don't think i'm going to need this because it actually just has a pin on the back and these are fabric shoes so this is going to be extremely easy to just attach her on right there because I was going to glue them on but I don't think I need to do that this is probably gonna be so much easier um which I feel like is also really cool I have to get this perfectly straight because then you could take them off and you can wear them without it too if you just want like the plain heel got it it was just trying to kind of hard to find the center but I'm gonna put this one on here and I feel like it's pretty secure that's the only thing that I was worried about with gluing it was I was like this may not be secure for like actual shoes and like walking around like the glue may become loose but now that I notice these have pins on the back that definitely makes them a lot more secure there we go they are finished that was extremely easy, but they look so pretty. This is like exactly what I wanted them to look like, so I'm very pleased with it. So for our next DIY, we're gonna do the Gucci hair beret. I also ordered this on Amazon. You can get this overnighted. It is just a tortoiseshell hair clip. I will link the same one that I have below. I picked up some little Swarovski crystals at the craft store. You can get these, I think they were like $4 each. I got two boxes. I might only really need one, but I wanted to get extras just in case. Cause you obviously, depending on how big your clip is, wanna make sure you get the right rhinestone so you have enough space to spell the whole word. And you don't actually have to put Gucci on this. You can make it even say like your name. You can have it say whatever you want. I'm gonna make it say Gucci, but you don't have to. And then I'm gonna be using E6000 glue. This is a really, really great glue. It is the most sturdy one that I know of. I might like lay it on there first without actually gluing it just to like see how everything would fit and then glue it into place. I'm a very wing it type of person when it comes to almost everything. So on the original Gucci clip, it has like big rhinestones, like the size that I'm using, rhinestones, and then it has like teeny tiny itty bitty baby ones it looks like in between them but I couldn't find ones that were actually that small like I have no clue where you would even get them um so I'm just doing it with the full size rhinestones but if you happen to find like micro micro ones there are little micro ones in between every big one I just could not find ones that were that small so so far it's been <laughs> so far it's been maybe 15 minutes and I'm still doing just the G. I think I've done the G. I think that kind of looks passable. Like theirs looks more like, actually, 
So I'm just going to go on to the next letter. Finally, I can let my hair down. Okay, so as you can tell, it's literally getting dark outside. So she's a little wonky, but she's still cute. So let me give you guys some tips. By the way, we have a new friend on the show being my salad. So quick tip that I learned off camera while I was gluing this and eating my salad. Um, I noticed that, so if you're gonna do this yourself, basically don't do what I did, um, where I like laid everything out first. That was so unnecessary and took like the most amount of time. What I literally ended up doing was just like taking them all off the clip and I took my toothpick with the glue. I traced like the letters with the glue and then I just picked them up one by one and it was so quick. But now we have our little, oh, that looks so cute. Now we have our little clip. How do you work it? There we go. Is that how you... Look how cute that is. Obviously, I wouldn't wear it with my hair like this, but ow. The next thing I'm gonna make is the top. There's only two things that you need for this. I have this white satin fabric. It's like an off-white satin. I got this at the fabric store. It was actually on sale in my fabric store. And then I also got a yard of this satin off-white string. I made sure they were the same color so that it would all look cohesive and match. This was really cheap. I think this was like 90 cents. Yeah, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to do this as simple as possible. Um, like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm a very like wing it last minute type of person So I didn't even actually think about how I'm gonna do this I like kind of went over the concept in my head once and I was like, hey, that sounds like a good idea And then now that I'm actually sitting here, I'm like, wait <laughs> What am I gonna do? What I'm gonna do I really hope this works. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the fabric like of this and I'm gonna measure it like from here to here, like across my chest. And I'm gonna cut it a little bit bigger than it should be. So basically what we're gonna do is drape it like a cowl neck. So take the fabric, go from one point of your chest to the other point of your chest and just sort of measure how much you want. So I'm gonna cut this. And now this is like so completely like, we are eyeballing this, like this is not exact, this is not like professional in any way, shape or form, but I think it's going to work for what I want to do. So now that we have our top, this is obviously way too long, like that's probably enough to do like a whole dress. So I'm just going to kind of measure how long I want it to be. This is the top, right? That just looks good. So good just like that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to make this top like an open back top. The only way to do this top and keep it a no sew project is to have it be an open back top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this from the top to the bottom. So it's going to like crisscross on our back. So it's like open back right at the top corners where we're going to attach the strap. I'm going to make teeny tiny little holes in the fabric. I'm actually going to take the string and I'm going to put it in from the front of the top so that way we're going to tie it in a little knot so it's on the inside of the shirt because if you tie it on the outside it, it's not going to look as good. I'm going to put this now through the front of this one just like we did on the left side. I also need to make this hole bigger. Now I feel like now that I'm seeing the shirt in person I might need a little bit more side coverage yeah, is that what I'm talking about? So now that I'm holding the shirt up and I'm seeing how it's gonna fit with the neck, see, this is what I have going on so far where it like goes, wow, I love how you can't see at all. <laughs> now I feel like I'm gonna need something in the middle, like right here for like side coverage, you know? Because then I feel like our whole sides are gonna be open and I'm just not really personally about that look. I do have enough string to do it, is I think I'm gonna put a third set of holes on each side and then like zig okay then we're going back to plan a right zigzagging okay we're gonna do that because i feel like i want to close it up more because it's going to be way too open So here we go, we've got the other camera angle going. So this is where your head is gonna go through. This is gonna be our neck strap. And then as you can see, I have it zigzagged through these two middle holes and then they zigzag all the way down to the two bottom holes here. And then this is where we're going to tie it off once we put the top on. Wow, I'm actually like 
proud of is like, look how cute that looks. I am so proud of this video. This is why I love doing DIY videos because of the outcome. It's so much fun. I had a lot of fun. I hope that you guys get some inspiration from these pieces. If you guys do decide to recreate these pieces yourself, please tag me on Instagram. Like I would love to see like what you guys did. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more of these, give me a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it so that I will know to film another one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post two videos a week, one on Tuesday and one on Friday. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.